So nanonife is a uh, procedure where we can insert probes into the body using imaging guidance, so CT scan or ultrasound guidance, insert probes into tumors, and once we get those probes positioned within the tumors, we, the na advantage of the nanonife is that it uses electricity. So we electrocute the tumor, and that opens up little tiny holes in the cells of the tumor cells. Those cells then leak out, their contents leak out, and they undergo natural cell death. The advantage of the nanonife over other technologies such as radiofrequency ablation, which uses heat, or cryoablation, which uses freezing, is that you can use this to kill the tumor, but it leaves the structure, the surrounding structures intact. So it leaves the proteins untouched, and it leaves whatever structure you're in or near untouched. You can ablate with, you can get rid of tissue next to blood vessels, you can uh, be near bile ducts, you can be next to colon or small bowel, and it leaves those structures untouched, whereas it will still go in and kill the tumor itself. So it's very precise. It has to be, uh, the needles have to be 1.5 to 2 centimeters apart. You can put a variety of needles, in anywhere from 2 to 7 needles in place or more than that. And shape, if a tumor is abnormally shaped, you can shape your zone, killing zone, around to whatever the tumor shape is. But we can be right next to the aorta, right next to big blood vessels, and those blood vessels will continue to work. They heal themselves. There's no injury to the blood vessel themselves because that structure is left behind. So uh, here at Miami Valley, we're, we were the first to bring this to town. Uh, and we've certainly got the most experience in doing this. Uh, we've been doing this for a number of years now and have seen a large number of patients. And that experience, I think, uh, is vitally important in this because it is a very meticulous process to be able to go through. The uh, arterial supply and the anatomy that you see is different in almost every patient and to be able to recognize those variants and uh, it's certainly a, a procedure that requires a lot of experience to do. So nanonife is very new and the patients that are referred to us or that we consider using nanonife on are patients who don't necessarily have another option. If they have a tumor that's right next to a very large blood vessel, uh, something that we can't use radiofrequency ablation on, we can't use cryoablation on, they're not a surgical candidate then we can consider using a nano knife because it leaves those blood vessels or large bile ducts or bowel intact. And, um, or if it's next to the ureter or something along those lines, those are all structures that you can't heat up or, and or freeze because you'll destroy those tissues as well. The advantage of the nano knife is it will kill cells but leaves that structure in place. So you can be right next to those structures. You can blade across a blood vessel and that blood vessel will continue flowing. If you've got tumor that comes right up and wraps around a blood vessel, you can ablate on either side of that. You can use the nano knife to kill that tissue on either side of that, but the blood vessel will be uninjured. So those are the patients we use this in, those patients that don't have another option or it's, in, it's right next to a critical structure that we can't find another technology for. We've used it on a variety of things. We've used it on sarcomas. Uh, we've used it on um, endometrial cancer, you could use it on, you can use it on any type of cancer. It will kill cells no matter where it's at. So just a matter of, of getting the probes, if you can get into the correct location with the probes. So benefits of NanoKnife are a wide variety of things. One, these are patients who don't have another option. They have no other options for treatment that's not surgically accessible, or they're not a surgical candidate. It's next to structures that can't be safely treated with radiofrequency ablation or cryoablation. Um, so that's the biggest advantage. The other advantage is that it's a minimally invasive procedure. There are small incisions that we make that we don't even have to put a stitch on. We get band-aids placed on afterwards. We will typically keep our patients in overnight uh, just for any pain control if they are having any pain. We have not had anybody that's had any significant pain with this procedure. But it's also to watch them to make sure they're not having any complications afterwards. Uh, typically patients are sent home the next day. Uh, the procedure is performed under general anesthesia and so they're not, once we put them under, they wake up and it's all done and over with. So no significant pain or anything like that with it. Very minimally invasive. We can go back in and do it again if need be or if another tumor pops up somewhere else uh, that is inaccessible or they're judged to be a candidate for, you can certainly go back in. There's no limitation on number of times you could do it. Uh, 
it's a very time intensive procedure. It's a very, uh, has to be very precise to be able to do this and you need to have high quality imaging to be able to do this. And we typically do this with CT scans uh, to place our needles and to get the needles in the correct location and then we have to use that data to make a 3D image to be able to measure how, exact, how far the distance is between the probes and then we input that information to the computer and we can sh then shape our ablation field to be able to do that. So NanoKnife is here at the region's leader at Miami Valley. We, uh, it's the only place in town that has it. Uh, we were the first center in the state of Ohio to have it. So there's no one else in town that has this ability to be able to do this and reach these tumors that are otherwise inaccessible.